Hey guys, it's Explorer here, and uh, today we're at Battery Tort. We're gonna go see Terms 2 and 3. Term 3 is actually completely like destroyed. But first we're gonna take a look at this collapsed bunker behind us. Alright guys, so uh, just behind me you can see this large casemate which has collapsed and this is known as Term 3, a battery tort. So uh, we can't get in from this side but we're going to walk around the edge again and climb through one of the overpressure ducts to take a look inside. So we'll see you once we're inside. Here's the uh, rubble of what remains of Term 3. Oh Jesus, don't stand under that. Yep, it's literally collapsing everywhere. These are all the overpressure ducts. They go all the way around, obviously we can't get there because of how destroyed this place is. There's massive sheets of concrete have just fallen off the ceiling. It's all fallen down, hasn't it? We can't even see the centre pivot. Yeah, man, it's crumbled. It's the vegetation. The material that's falling down. I mean, literally soon that whole chunk there will just fall and then this bit will swing down here. So, safe. And that overhang is going to go. Yeah, yeah that, that's a great place to stand, right underneath that. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know anywhere safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's something crushed. Okay, see what we can see from over here. I'm not going to climb on all this, but. Yeah, half this has collapsed down the side of the cliff. Well, down the side of the road, it's just down there. You can just about make out some of the overpressure ducts down there, that little black gap. But yeah, this whole section's ruined, worse than the other one. And the whole steel sheeting on the ceiling's about to come rolling down, so that's fun. Alright guys, uh, currently standing outside of Term 2, from what we can see it looks like most of it has been blocked up with barred gates but we're going to go around the back and see if we can find something. I mean you can still see just about the overpressure ducts on the wall and also they double the ventilation and you can see the centre mount would be down there somewhere in the bushes. This one looks a lot deeper than the other ones probably because there's less dirt accumulated at the bottom. We're going to go around the back and see if we can find a proper way in because uh, I don't think we can get in from here. Yeah, I can see the edge of the concrete here. We're on top of one of the concrete side bits. Yeah, we're on it's the back bit. In mud. All right, guys, so it doesn't look like we're getting in this way. Uh, no, it doesn't. We're definitely not going up, because I can't climb a bare face wall that high. I think most people would struggle to be fair to you, though. Just walk through all this. I mean, careful. I keep walking into people now. Hang on, what we got? Doesn't look like an entrance. No, Man. Keep going, why not? Nice to look. So that's the back, that's where the, uh, we were just at. This is the elevated section. Like where the magazines and that. Oh, there's a chimney there. Might be able to jump down yeah, the chimney. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, no, it's no, filled in though, isn't it? It opens. 
the hatch opens. Is Some it? Some of them open, remember. Hang on, let me try. It's got oh, a... it's got a locks on it. I can see the locks already. Yeah, it's locked. Sorry. It's not really... Okay, look, you've got the little side box. They always seem to have this. I think this is for aiming, do you reckon? I have no idea, to be honest. Yeah. Hang on, there's something here, like right next there to us. There is something here, too. I don't know what that is. Right, so there's definitely no way in. Doubt it. Unless you want to go in there and have a look. But even then, there's like some remains of something here. Like a little house. It might be like an officer's like quarters or something. Uh, massive yeah. trees growing through it. I think you can see some ventilation up there. Yeah, but they're, uh, you know, Gabe, didn't you say they were overpressure ducts? Yeah. yeah. If Gabe said it is right, sorry, you're wrong. Yeah, that's the end of it. All right. So there's no entrances. We'll just follow this path out on the way out. guys so uh, unfortunately we couldn't get to term two and term three was damaged anyway but um, we're gonna head down this way now because apparently there's a VF bunker and a KSS bunker and we've also seen a couple of others we're gonna go explore them instead while we're here because although it's night it's quite peaceful here and it's quite cool so we're gonna head down here guys and we'll see you when we get there Alright guys, so um, we made it to that KSS bunker we were talking about. You can probably hear the uh, water running. So we'll go down in a second once Gabe's taking a look at the water, I guess. Yeah, water's really down from here. Oh, cool. Hang on, guys. All the water is falling into some kind of tank. Down there. All the piping in the floor. Really down there. Some ventilation up in the floor. Really down to the lake. Yeah, over really there. Nice. Yeah. Maybe this was like the water supply bunker for the. Uh, yeah, for the tools. Yeah, you've got like the major valves here. Yeah, the water's pouring into that hole. Actually, look, there's a ladder there. There's a second story. Obviously, before the pipes burst, you wouldn't be able to go down there. And I don't know what's down there, I have no idea. It's only important, probably. Where is it? Yeah, I ain't going down there, mate. Other than that, it's a pretty bland room. You've got like clips and that on the walls. Obviously, the pipes are running through the uh, gaps in the floor, ventilation, some sort of shelving unit, made of reinforced concrete steel, find that hole. Yeah, I was like that guy, it's basically there, but interesting. 